What's been happening, we've just gone through and we've sprayed out a first coat on the unit and probably the last, you know, half an hour, I'm not going to lie, um, the gun's been clogging up. It doesn't really happen too often, but you all pretty much know what it's like. Sometimes, you know, you're in such a um, rush between jobs, you don't get to clean your equipment the way it should be cleaned uh, or the way you even want to clean it. You know, I like to keep everything really clean and that way there's, there is no downtime on your jobs. But, hey, what has happened? And we've got the man Jacob from Go Industrial down. What a perfect time to do a quick video on when your, your handpiece, your spray gun has clogged. So what we're gonna do, first things first, you gotta check your filters. I know this thing here has probably done about seven or eight jobs um, without even cleaning the filter. Probably the most quickest, easiest thing to clean uh, to eliminate clogging, and I haven't done it. So what we're gonna quickly do now, we've just sprayed out first coat. Before we, um, go running any more paint through it, we want to make sure that it's not going to happen again because seriously, it is driving me nuts. We'll go for a walk around through the through the windows. You can see where I've been reversing the sweet, uh, tip and I've been, you know, clearing out the whatever's in there um, that way. But it's not really efficient. Doesn't really look the best either. But what I'll do, I'll quickly go on. Um, make sure first you've got a fresh drum of water and your pressure's completely turned down and you know switched off pressure relief procedure right so now sometimes i'll probably put it on too tight sometimes when you go like this you know what's going to happen whatever access water or paint is going to so try to do it over a bucket all right even though your pressure's down sometimes you do get a bit of um your leakage coming through so, take down there and now it should just turn off pretty easy twist off should I should should I should I should I say um, I don't I'm not really keen to see what's in here um, you know, even give that a good flush in the water not like that just grab the handpiece like that and get it in there but we have this um, well, as you can see already, look at this. So, that's, um, I can definitely say this is the cause of all the blockage that we're getting. I'll just give it a bit of a rinse, get some paint off so we can actually see what's going on. But, <laughs> not really cool on my behalf, but hey, it makes an awesome video. And if it helps someone down the track, hey, I'm happy to, um, to do this 100%. So I know a lot of painters probably like, but I've been dealing with paint like this for a while, so I always do this. Oh <laughs> so as you can see there, how much there, that was actually blew out a lump. Um, Other thing is you're using a hundred mesh in your gun filter for spraying primer, which is gonna pick up way more sediment than what a 60 mesh would, which is, could be restricting your fly rate with that size tip. Well, that's right. It could be too. Um, but see, see, when I'm going through running, running, um, you know, the contractor PC, but then too, I am running the FLP tips. I know, um, you know, we could probably switch it to the 60, but at the end of the day, if you've got a hundred mesh and you're running and you're cleaning it all the time, you're not going to have that blockage issue because probably the last, you know, 15 jobs, I've ran the 100 mesh, um, I've ran the contractor PC, I've ran primer, I've ran sealing flat, ran wash and wear, ran exterior uh, weather shield through it. So I've ran a variety of different um, products through it and I've really only had this problem the last couple of jobs. So, you know, it's definitely that problem. Doesn't really matter if, as long, running the FFLP tip with the 100 mesh, with your contractor PC, best combo, um, as long as you keep your stuff clean, you know? So that's pretty much it. You can see how clogged it was. Now you can actually see through it. You couldn't even see through it before. So this way, you're actually gonna get, well now, we're actually letting the paint go through. Before, that's um, 
clog it up because it had nowhere to go. Pretty much the paint was just banking up in inside the, the gun or the filter. Um, and that's what was that's what the problem was. So I could guarantee now that we could put this on. We could probably run for another four or five jobs without it, um, it happening again. Because like I said, very rarely I get um, spits or we get blockages because we like to keep our stuff clean. But, you know, we all have them jobs where we just um, get on to the next and we don't always get that time to clean um, our machines like we said. But yeah, you know, for an extra five minutes between jobs, then to, you know, spend 10, 15 minutes unclogging your machine for the next half an hour through while you're spraying, um, you know, it really, it's really worth just doing it at the end of each job. And that way you're, you're pretty much ready to rock. So there we go. Quick, easy and effective way to clean out your blockages and 90% of the time, 99% of the time, if you're getting blockages um, out of your handpiece, okay, it's usually because your filters aren't clean. Um, if you have problems with priming uh, or anything like that, it's usually filters um, to do with your sprayer. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, hope this helps. Um, it's a lesson for me, you know, make sure I start cleaning out my uh, machines and my hand pieces a bit more often and every time that I do uh, finish a job just take that time because in the long run it will save you time and it will save your equipment too you know less wear and tear on the machines and um, your hand pieces if you look after things they last longer so yeah I'm gonna take my advice and I'm gonna start making sure I clean my equipment more often